just taking a look at are these two points here, point number one and point number two. Point number one is one zero and point number two is zero one. And if we make a matrix like this, one zero, zero one, this is point number one and this is point number two. So they're, the coordinates are written vertically, okay, as you can see here, one zero and zero one. And if you notice, this is the identity matrix. The identity matrix means that if you multiply this times another matrix, okay, it's going to give that matrix back. So it's just like multiplying by the number one. Anything times one gives you itself back. Same thing with the identity matrix. And what we're going to do now is we're going to look at how does this matrix change as you rotate 90 degrees, 180, 270, and if you reflect over the x-axis, y-axis, or the line y equals x. And it's very easy. All you do is pay attention to these two points. If we want to remember the matrix that rotates 90 degrees, we look at what happens to point one and two when we rotate 90. So if we rotate 90, okay, look at what happens. Point one zero moves to zero one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace point one here with its new coordinates, zero one. Point number two, zero one, is gonna move to this point over here, which is negative one zero. So this matrix is gonna be the matrix we want if we wanna rotate 90 degrees. Okay, let's look at 180. So if we rotate 180, this point's gonna move half a rotation over to here, which is gonna put us at negative one zero, whereas point number two is gonna rotate all the way down to here, and that's coordinate is gonna be zero, negative one. So by multiplying by this matrix, uh, you're gonna be able to rotate, you know, a pre-image to its image 180 degrees. If you rotate 270, this point here is gonna rotate three quarters of a turn, it's gonna end up at zero, negative one, and this point zero, one is gonna rotate three quarters of a turn, it'll be at one, zero. Now, if you reflect over the x-axis, we're folding it over the x-axis, the mirror image, this point is actually on the line of reflection, so it's gonna stay right where it's at, one, zero, whereas this point is gonna reflect down there at zero, negative one. So you're with me so far? If we reflect over the y-axis, this point's gonna reflect over here, it's gonna be at zero, whoops, I'm sorry, negative one, zero, and then this point is on the line of reflection, so it's gonna stay where it's at, at zero, one, and then the line y equals x, that's this 45 degree line here. This point is gonna be where point two is, point two is gonna be where point one is, they're actually gonna interchange positions, so that's gonna be zero, one, and one, zero, and just to give you a quick example, like, say for example, you just wanna take a point uh, three, one, like this, and you want to, uh, you know, reflect it over the line y equals x. Well, all you would have to do is multiply this matrix times the point three, one, and you multiply rows times columns, so that gives you what? Zero times three is zero, one times one is one, and we add those together, and then the second row, first column, you get three plus zero, which is three.